BL and welcome back to my channel. So today is the moment you've all been waiting for. Nemo is finally going to move into the bird room. If you haven't watched my videos, Nemo is my Gen Day Conure. He's new and he's been in quarantine for the past month, actually a bit longer than a month. But before moving Nemo's cage into the bird room, we're gonna talk about the importance of a slow introduction when you're introducing two birds. You have to first realize that not all parrots are gonna get along. Some are just never going to get along and it even depends on the species. It all depends on the individual. Some birds will be best friends right away and some will not be able to come out at the same time or have to live in separate rooms because some birds are just aggressive. Some species that are known to be more aggressive towards other birds include lovebirds, parrotlets, kikes, and quakers. Quakers especially, they're very cage territorial, so if a bird goes near their cage or goes inside their cage, they can snap at that bird. Green cheek conures like Kermit as well, they can be aggressive towards other birds, but Kermit's a very good bird. However, it definitely more depends on the individual bird. You can have a budgie that's really aggressive or a love bird that's really sweet with other birds. Next thing here is we're not planning to bond the birds or have them live in the same cage at any point. They are just going to coexist in the room. The goal is just to have them be able to be out of the cage together and just be peaceful and not bother each other. If you are thinking of getting a bird to bond with your other bird, keep in mind that it may never work out and they have to be the same species. Okay, so if you get a new bird and you already have birds, you need to keep them in separate rooms, quarantine from each other for at least a month. This will prevent any disease spread between the new bird and the current birds. It gives you enough time to make sure your new bird isn't sick, to watch for symptoms, and to take them to the vet. Once the quarantine period is over, you want to make the introduction process slow. I know with Violet, I just moved her into the bird room the same day she met the other birds. But that's because Violet is a budgie, she's not showing any aggressive behavior, and budgies are just, they're naturally very social, and flock birds, they usually get along with other birds just fine. Conyers are definitely a bit trickier because they can be aggressive towards other birds, and now I have two Conyers, there's Kermit and Nemo. They have already gone through the introduction process, and they've done really well, so we are going to be moving Nemo into the bird room today, and now I'm going to walk you through how you introduce two birds. All right, so now some people recommend only introducing two birds when one or both birds are inside a cage. And that is actually what I did at first. Nemo was inside his cage and I walked into my room and took Kermit in here and it did not go well. What happened was I walked into the room and was giving Kermit treats and Nemo saw that Kermit was out of the cage getting treats and he did not like being in that cage. So he started screaming and getting upset and that scared Kermit. So. I do not recommend having one bird in the cage and one out, especially if the other bird is getting treats and attention. Nemo saw that Kermit was getting treats and he didn't like that he was stuck in the cage while Kermit was out, so he got jealous, and that is a very common thing. So, if you're going to have the birds in cages, have them both in cages. Many parrots can get territorial, so it is a bit risky to move the cages right next to each other right away. Not because the birds will be able to get to each other or hurt each other, but because the original bird that was there first can get mad that there's suddenly another bird right next to their cage. If you have two birds that you are worried might attack each other, an even better method is actually to put both the birds in carriers and then put the carriers next to each other in a neutral territory. That way the birds, they won't get territorial over carriers. They will just be more distracted by being in a carrier and pay less attention to that other bird. So if you have them both in carriers, you wanna make sure you're giving both the birds treats and praise, especially the bird you had first, so they don't get jealous of the new bird. Nemo, come! Good bird. So here's an example of a neutral territory. I am downstairs, far away from either of the birds' cages, and this is where I introduced them after the incident when I tried to introduce them with Nemo in the cage, and it went great. I really recommend having your birds meet in a neutral territory, like a room they haven't been in much before, a room that's far away from their cages, and just have your birds not get too close at first. So I did not film the initial meeting because I was more focused on the birds and reading their body language and making sure everything was going well. But what I did at first was actually have Kermit on my mom and I held Nemo and they were both getting treats. If you have another person in your house that your bird is comfortable with, I think that's a great thing because then the birds won't get jealous and they won't compete for your attention. They'll just be on their separate people eating treats. I recommend definitely having them further apart and then very slowly moving them closer together as long as they're still doing good and not showing any signs of aggression.
So if the birds have done well together so far, you can start to have them share treats a little closer together. You can observe that the birds are being very calm and not showing any signs of aggression. They are not trying to go after each other. They're not jealous. They just want to simply eat their treats and they're being very peaceful. Now both the birds are on the same perch. Another good thing to do when you're introducing your birds is to distract your birds by asking them to do tricks. Kermit, turn around. Good. So if your birds are doing well in a neutral territory, Kermit did really well with Nemo, and I'm not worried about the budgies just because of how social they are with all the other birds, and Ducky just wouldn't bother anyone, so Nemo can go to the bird room. Preening is a very good sign. If your birds preen, that means they're very comfortable in their surroundings and they feel safe. As you can see, now they're both playing with the toy and they're being very peaceful. So Kermit being comfortable enough to preen here is very good because it means he's really not disrupted by Nemo. So Nemo has been in the bird room before and he doesn't care about the budgies or Ducky, so it should go really well. The budgies and Ducky are actually kind of a little scared of Nemo which is to be expected because he is a bigger bird.
Now we have two tea stealers. No tea for you. It's not for birds. Tea stealers. Tea stealing birds. Yeah. No tea for birds. No tea for birds. No. No teas. Moving Kermit's cage to make room for Nemo's, and the budgies are just still on that perch. So Nemo's cage is now in the bird room, and I did put it next to Kermit's because they're doing super well together, and I think they'll really enjoy seeing each other. With Nemo's cage in here, you can see how much lower to the ground it is than Kermit's, but that's because they had to fit the play top up there. Even though Kermit's cage is taller, Nemo's is wider than Kermit's. Nemo's is 36, and uh, Kermit's cage is 32 inches wide. Kermit, are you going in? You're going in? It's not your food. It's not yours. The Conyers switched cages. So that is going to be it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Nemo is just doing so great in here. And uh, there's a lot of mess in my hair. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Check out my website, ellenthebirds.com for my kits. Check out my Amazon store. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok. And I will see you guys in my next video. This video is sponsored by Rusty and Coco, two bunny boys living in a bird world. They just launched a new Instagram where they will be sharing lots of adorable content like this pancake bunny meme reenactment. So if you want to see some cute bunnies, go check it out at Bunny Boys in Bird World. Help them get out of bed and achieve their dreams today so they aren't forgotten about for those silly birds. You know they're cuter.